Morse has died. We can't get off this island. Morse. Mars? Well, like the chocolate bar. Hold on. Thank you, Satan. <laughs> Tonight, we spend the night alone on this island. Show yourself. <laughs> Was he a soldier? <laughs> Mark's getting a bit scared. Never. There was a black f***ing mass. Anne. Anne! Oh my God! It feels like we're being surrounded by people, doesn't it? So spirits, we are back on Craymond Island. I can still hear people right over the far side. Now, if we get across, that's going to be the first miracle. This is crazy, man. Can't see where I'm going. Move. 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 <laughs> There's something walking behind me. Yeah. I heard it 100 percent Get out. The fog is still here. Health and safety crossing this tonight is gonna be the probably the biggest factor of the night whether we make it there or not. It smells good. Pray for us guys. We might need it. guys welcome to another video as you can see the sea is behind me and tonight myself and mark west london paranormal return to Crayman island yes three years ago we spent the night on this island surrounded by water the tide was in and we could not escape we could not return to land and tonight we will do it again who knows what will happen. All I ask for is that you join us on this journey. We will be camping overnight. We'll be trying to communicate with the possible spirits, the ghosts of fallen soldiers who sadly lost their lives during the war. Because this island was a first response base for invading countries' boats who tried to attack the Scottish borders. So as you can see, the tide is currently in. So we're gonna sort out some bits and bobs, get ready for tonight, grab some food. Let's do this. Smoke here, isn't it? Yeah. What's that? What's going on? I don't know. Right, so we've been in the Crayham and in to have some very nice Seems dinner, like as you can see. Is the tide come in even more and brought fog with it because it's very foggy here? Wow. Look at that. What was it? 40, 44 minutes ago, the sun was out, and now you can't see anything. Look. There's lots of people, aren't there? But look, you've got the boats over there, yeah. the one boat there, but can you can't even, you can't even see the fucking island anymore. I know, you can't see nothing. There's the island gone. What do you mean, what is it? It's air. It's not, it's mist, isn't it? It's fog. And they went into dock, so. Yeah, I don't know if they brought people back or what. Have we got the tide? Yes. Yeah, 
so we've come to the end of the causeway that we can get to at the moment anyway the fog you can't even see the island it's crazy <laughs> Awesome. Yeah, get it there. Airplane up there. Can you see it? Nope. <laughs> right guys, so it is 10 o'clock and we have come down to the island with all our bags. Now, if we get across, that's going to be the first miracle because <laughs> it's like carrying two people. I've got a bag on the front and a bag on the back. Yes, plus carrying a tent and this camera. Mark has a suitcase, <laughs> a tent and the bag on his back. So as you can see, you can't see nothing behind us. The fog is still here. We just have to hope that the causeway is clear and we can actually get across so it said now on the times that it is safe to cross at the moment until 1am i hope you like this video guys we are putting ourselves out here Whew, a bit on edge and uh, because there, there was people over there in the daytime mark saw them on his drone flight. I'm not sure if they've come back yet, if they got taken back by boat because some people were coming across from boat earlier, so. It's a bit scary. It actually looks like it's raining, but that's just the moisture in the air, that's crazy. You ready, Mark? Yeah. yeah. You feel, how are you feeling about this? Last time we were here, we had a clear walkway to the island. Yes. Um, now I can't even see in front of me. Can't even see me. I can't, I can't see, just about see you. Yeah? It's the beard. Um, but yeah, health and safety crossing this tonight is going to be the probably the biggest factor of the night, whether we make it there or not. Yeah. Um, I have faith. Bringing a suitcase, everything. It is a slippery walk. We have to take our time to get over there. Yeah. It's still early days. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Three years ago, yeah. we got some good results here. Yeah. Uh, Memorial Sunday we were here and let's go over on that island and get more results yeah let's smash another one yes so guys we have got about 10 yards off the shore onto the causeway and Mark has realised he does need his light on his bag otherwise he can't see nothing so he's gone back to the car to get it I have my bag on the front and my bag on the back and a tent so I'm very tired already it's gonna be an interesting walk across here it's gonna be very time-consuming very long not looking forward to it my arm is already killing me pray for us guys we might need it oh we've just dropped down the first drop that was very difficult you can't even see the moisture in the air is crazy it is like a blizzard So, we have made it to Craven Island. Well, that was a, a difficult 20 minutes. I don't know, <laughs> but I'm in pain. I can't feel my arms. My, left, my right arm is very, very fucked. So yeah, we have made it across. Let's have a little breather. We need to assess how we get up there. Yeah, we'll go around the beach, I think. So here we go, we have pitched the tent, slightly different to last time, it's Mark in there, oh, I can't see. Hello Mickey. Hello Mark. Yeah, so, we have just, oh fuck you, big dinosaur in my eye. <laughs> we have discovered there is a tent near the entrance of the island and we smelt smoke, so obviously we saw the tent. People have been having a bonfire, food, whatever. And we are possibly halfway into the island and we can hear an awful lot of noise, shouting. Clearly people that are 
in that tent so we are not where we were planning to go but we're going to chill out here for a little bit <sighs> nothing's easy is it this time this this trip to scotland is not easy this time is it mark no it's not good good chat What's up, Mickey? so yeah there we go so guys it's nearly one o'clock and we're finally settled and as you've already seen Mark's having a bit of a sleep I can still hear people right over the far side I don't know what they're doing over there don't really want to know to be fair as you can possibly hear it's raining we're gonna have some food in a minute I'm starving. <laughs> Not sure how this video is going to go. Maybe we'll do some investigating in the morning, depending on the weather, depending on people that are on the island. It's, it's, it's an interesting one. It's definitely not how we had planned this, to be fair. But it is Saturday night. We had this at Hellfire Club in Ireland the second time we went. That was uh, a weekend, so it is what it is, and you have to go with whatever you're given, really. The burgers are on. Okay. I will be eating my food, and Mark will still be playing around in his tent. <laughs> <laughs> but Mark's got the the bacon and the haggis, so you better hurry up. <laughs> oh, me. I'll just get my body temperature up. Yeah, but by heating your thing up, it will do that, Mark. Don't, don't forget. Well, it does sound like it's raining, but I don't... I just don't know. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Did you enjoy your bit of sleep? You're snoring like a motherfucker. <laughs> within, within about 10 seconds. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. He <laughs> comes out of the birth canal. Mmm. <laughs> you got me something cooking, Mickey? No. Your burgers are in, mate. Yeah. Thank you to go. Oh my god. Oh. That sizzle, boy. Good luck. Mm. Right, here we go. Moment of truth. Probably still pink in the middle. Mm. Is that nice, Mickey? It's fucking lovely. Mm. 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 1 51 am. I've finished my burgers and haggis and bacon. Marcus. Mm. On the way through his. <laughs> so the plan is to start filming soon. Um, see what's around this area. So there is actually a haunted, haunted. There is actually like an abandoned house just behind us. So we'll go explore that. See what's, see what's around. See why there is uh, it's just an old house just left. We're going to start off around the camp. We've got a music box, there's our tents. We have a voice recorder already going. There's an abandoned house just there, which I'm going to go show you now. So Mark is just getting ready. So I'm going to call out if there's any spirits here. I oh, ask you to come forward. My name is Mickey. Hello. Don't mean you any harm. 
you should be able to let me hear your voice if you talk into this microphone just in front of me. The shouting seems to have stopped, so that's good. We're at camp. We're at camp. Base camp. Base camp is all there behind us. Just had some food, got our energy, mm -hmm. and we're ready to conduct some experiments on this island. Start with Alice Box. This was amazing last, well, last let's time just, here. Let's just, let's just test this before the Alice. If there's anyone that's here that's followed us here, that was here last time, can you set that spirit box off that's just there over in the corner? Just to let us know that you're still here. Let us know that you're with us. The music box. The music box? Yeah. Set the music box off. Let us know that you've just stepped into camp with us. So spirits, we are back on Craymond Island. Come towards us. Use all our energy. Can you give us any names? Or any relevance that is here with us? They want to come forward and talk to us. Maybe you remember us from last time. Yeah. Do you remember us from last time? We made contact with a brother and sister. Yeah. Brother and sister. Someone that used to work on the island. Closet. Closet. Closet, okay. David. David. Hello, David. Hello, David. I can't see where I'm going here. I can't see where I'm going. Move. 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 One, two. <laughs> there you go. He is moving, yeah. There we go. I have moved. David, closest move. Closet. David, closet, <laughs> move. Move, David. As you can hear, guys, it is raining, so there will be some noise that probably picks up. Come on, David. Dip. We mean you no harm. If there's anyone else, it's not just David that's here, come forward. We'd like to speak to as many people. April. 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 Okay, that could be a girl's name as well. Mm. April. David, April. What did you do on this island, April? Why are you here? Or David? Hmm. What's the reason you are here? What's your relevance to the island? This was a World War II defense island. You know, we stopped the Germans coming in. We were here last time on Remembrance Sunday. The tide's coming now. We can't get off this island and we are here officially stuck on this island now. Pan. Pan. Yeah, we left a pan over there, didn't we? Yeah, we've just been cooking. We've just been cooking, yeah, you know, Spirit. Can you tell us what we cooked? Yeah, what did we cook, Spirit? Bonus points for that one. We have to be here till the morning. We're here all night. You don't have a choice. We're not going anywhere. Exactly. We're on a World War II island. A lot of action here. Stop the Germans invading. Mm. Sin. Sin. Were the Germans the sinners? 
let us help you piece together what happened here, what happened to you. Right guys, because I'm moving away from camp, I'm going to put a 360 motion sensor. It's also a REM pod as well, to be fair. See me from all the way over here. Right. Come here. I just said Lisa, what's your relevance here? And she said dark. Dark. Well, it could be dark. Yeah. So if you've the Mickey's now set the um the Three, motion. 360 motion. 360 motion. Right. Just over there. In front of camp. In front of camp. So if anything goes off, they're nicking our gear. Come on. So Lisa, why are you here? You make you Lisa. Why are you here? Medicine. Is she a nurse? Could be. Lisa, why are you here? Medicine. Are you a nurse, Lisa? Did you used to treat the wounded here? Birds. Did you used to treat the wounded? Information. What's that? Come here. Jump. Sounded like things moving, but we are outside, so it could be it like information. There was like a big footstep, like move behind me, like boom. Yeah, I heard that. Like a big rat. Could be anything, to be honest, out here. Yeah. Lisa, if you're here, can you speak to us? Is that you? Yeah. Come on. Oh. Fraction information. This could all be tied to the wall here. Five here. Ocean. 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 What are we right next to? Uh the North Sea. Sea, ocean. That's crazy. Yeah. Obviously we're on an island. Ocean. Surrounded by water. Yeah, can't get off. So, at least you're saying all this. Ocean. I'd like to know if you can say anything that's relevant to the war, wild war just to give us some sort of clarification and maybe what you're trying to say is all relevant to what we're coming through. Can you do that for us? Can you give us something to do with the war? That'd be great if you could. It'd be amazing. It does sound like there's footsteps all around us. Hello. But it is sort of drips from the trees, I think. Doesn't doesn't help with that feeling though. Amanda. 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 Lisa. Amanda. Hello, ladies. Come here. Come here. Oh. There's footsteps up there. Under. steps Up 
under. There's something walking behind me. Yeah. I heard it 100%. What's that? Me. Is that you as well? Yeah. See, and that's, that's me just being here. That's about 20 foot away. So that would have picked anything up there? Any, yeah, anything human anyway. So it's good to have these devices out. Vicar. Oh, Vicar. Is Amanda or Lisa a Vicar then? Resting. Not resting. So we got Vicar. Not resting. Did you drill that? What the fuck is that? Shh. Turn that out of for a minute. Feels like we're being surrounded by people, doesn't it? Yeah. That was definitely like shuffling and walking. That's that. That's like a good duck that's behind me. <laughs> See, we've got equipment down there. That would go off. It will go off if you go anywhere near <coughs> the camp, the tents, that, our stuff. Like that was like someone in there just walking. Can you see anything in there, Mick, of your camera? No. That was well loud. We are outside, so. Well, Dennis. It could be anything. Like I said, it's raining as well. Wet wood can fall from the tree trunks. It can, yeah. It does scare you a bit though, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know. We're back in the middle. We're back over here. It's nearly three o'clock now. See, it's when you hear noises that yeah. don't really sound natural. Exactly. But I can hear them behind me. Obviously. This is crazy, man. <laughs> that sounds like running. This place is creepy, man. <laughs> right, so Mark. In general is doing the SS method of the Delco goggles. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Hi. Hello. What's your name? Could you tell me something about this place? The land that we're on? Is that possible? I'm ready. Ready for what? Ready to answer? Six. Six? Six what? So 
Something just moved over there. My head. Your head? Is something going to happen to your head? Mark had a headache all day today. Before? Before. Yeah, before now. He wasn't feeling that well. Is that why? Girl laughing. What the hell? What right, girl? Who are you, please? Are you Lisa or Amanda? Pardon? Are you Lisa? Go back. Or Amanda? Go back where? Go back where? There's rumours. I don't like this. Now Mark can't hear me, but for the last 45 minutes when we've started filming again, he doesn't seem himself. Now he may listen to this when he's editing this video. He seems like a bit delusional. I don't know, very on edge. And he's not, not slurring his words, but getting the words wrong quite often and that's not how he normally is so is that you affecting him today just today what did I don't know you tell me what did what what the fuck very little that sounds like a tree falling then, like a branch from a tree. Are you circling around us? Karen. Karen? Lots of female names in this area. I love you. Oh. That's nice. Who do you love? We love you too. So Amanda, Jane, Karen or Lisa, love us. Yeah. Whoa. No, I don't like this area. It does seem like there's someone walking around. The solution. Yeah, I'd like to find the solution, please. We're meant to. Yes, that's good. Can you tell me what the solution will be? Millions of people. Millions of what? Aeroplane. so loud I can't even hear Mark and he's just there me and Mark are gonna swap in a minute I'm gonna have the chance to talk what the fuck was that that sounded like someone jumped in the bush I'm not comfortable at the moment very on edge definitely feel like this. You're thick. I'm thick. That's rude. Pressure. Me and Mark are going to swap in a minute and you have the chance to give me messages the same way that Mark is doing now. So can you give him a last message before we swap? 
that possible? On the night. The night of what? Tonight? Table. That's a bird. Oh, I think we've been here for hours and hours. And suddenly we keep getting different bird noises. Do they all come out at different times in the darkness? I'd have thought they'd be out all the time. Alright, I'm gonna get Mark out now. My voice is going very croaky. I'm gonna get Mark out. Sorry, I did touch you. Draining me, man. Yeah. Mm. I could tell. Well, it's saying like hospital and all that. Like I was getting all. <sighs> yeah. Even my ears gone. <laughs> Crazy. Well, I had loads and loads of footsteps around me. Weird noise. It sounded like something jumped in the bush behind me just now. <laughs> just there. Yeah. Yeah. My ears gone. This ain't right. Right, my turn for the Delco experiment. Oh, God. Right. That's your headphones. We're in Cremond Island. Would you 6,000. Like would you like to introduce yourself to us? If there's anyone around here that would like to talk to us? Come forward. Tell me how you're feeling. Bye. That's not very nice. The name would be brilliant right now. My name's Mark. This is Mickey. And we come here with the utmost peace and respect. Looking for validation of the afterlife. What are you doing? Looking for validation of the afterlife. You just beat me to it there. I was just about to tell you. So we've travelled all the way from London. We've been here before. Do you know how many years ago? Let's go. Let's go. Three years ago we were on this island, Remembrance Sunday. Do you remember us? Michael. Michael, yes. That is Michael, yeah. Mickey, Mickey York, Michael York. And my name's Mark. So now you understand who we are. It's time. It's time, yes. What is it time to do? Are you going to tell us your name, Spirit? Give me a name, don't be shy. Here for you. You're, you're here for us? Get out. Oh, I can't get out, unfortunately. The tide is up. You know, we're stuck on this island now to the morning. Warning. What warning are you giving us? Can you give us any information on Lisa and Amanda that we had earlier? These two. These two, yes. That's amazing. Yes, these two. Can you tell us anything about them? Scotland. Are they from Scotland? Okay, yeah, we're on a, we're in Scotland. We're on the island, so I, I would have thought they'd be from Scotland. Is there anything more that you can tell us about the two? Did they used to work here? Here. Here. Okay. Are they? Are you with us right now? Peter. Peter. Hi Peter, how are you? I'm the old one. You are the old one? Peter, what's your relevance to the island? Did you used to work here as well? Is that your thoughts? I would have thought so, yeah. So Peter, was you a soldier? Yeah. You was? Okay. Was you active here? 
can't get me. They couldn't get you, no? That's good. <sighs> Are you affecting Mickey's arm? You can't. So Peter, you worked on this island, they can't get you? Can't. Yeah, can't. Can you touch Mickey? Help. He's not getting it. He's not getting help. <clears throat> Who's not getting help, Spirit? Do you want to give us a final message before we go? Whoa. Sounds like the music box. Can you hear me? The music box did go off. Okay, I had to stop that. Why? A, because your hand was playing up. Yes, yeah, the angle I was there. Did you hear the music box on the machine? It sounded like it, yeah. The fucking music box went off over there. No, it didn't. It went off over there. It's the only place it is. Yeah, it went off, it went ding, and as it went off, you said music box. Fuck off. Watch it back. You heard it on there, and it fucking went off over there. As but soon as I stopped there's it. No, there's no way I can hear it, that's not no. even loud. No, it went. I can't even hear you there. That's the end. Yeah, it went ding, like the first little ting, and then you went music box. Sounds like the music box. No way. Yeah. Whoa. And then I'm standing there going, can you tell me about the two ladies? And you're going, ah, them two. So, yeah, it was picking up some good stuff, man. Oh, wow. I said, and I saw your arm stuff. aching. Like, yeah, it's because there's an angle. It's and I kept telling you. them to leave you alone if it's hurting you. Oh, no, it's because it's my arm's fucked. Yeah. Not because of any spirits, I'm sure. Oh, um, wow. But it's just, then after that, oh. it went, ding, over there. Then you went, sounds like the music box. Yeah, so we are going to do the spirit box session. Then the plan is to get some sleep and then in the morning when we head off to the other side of the island to leave, we will do that front entrance building, which we did exactly the same last time and got some amazing evidence on the Alice box. So, yeah. Is that you? No one there. Whoa. I thought that was you. There's no one. Look, there's nobody there. There's no animals or anything. Why is that suddenly going off now? It's very strange. Maybe it's got wet. So spirits, we've had a great night so far speaking to you. Yep. Interesting, I think. It's interesting, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Is there anything that you'd like to say to me and Mickey before we go bed. tonight? Bed. Yeah, bed. Yeah, got something like that, yeah. We're going to bed soon. Because the time is just before 4 a.m. How many spirits are with us? Fourteen. Can you tell us a swear word? Because we know it won't be on the radio. Come on. Tell us a nasty word. <laughs> I just, I just feel like someone behind us. Yeah. Feels like somebody just yeah, yeah. again. Yeah. Did you affect my ear earlier? What relevance does this island have to you?
Peter. That's Peter. Of course I'm Peter. Yeah, Peter comes from earlier. Hey, Peter earlier. Hello, Peter. Why are you here, Peter? Don't do dicks, isn't it? Filming something about dicks. But since we started crossing, oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we did ask for a swear word. We did ask for a swear word. So thank you. And we believe it's a dick. So we're going to end this now. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you, Spirit. We'll speak to you later on in the morning before we leave. We're not finished just yet. No, we're not finished. We'll see you at sunrise. Yeah, we we got to do what we say we're going to do to them. If we ask them to do something, and then we'll do something in return. Yeah. We finished. That's it. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, baby. That's eight thirty nine, and it's been an eventful night since we packed up at four o'clock. I keep finding slugs in my tent. Aeroplanes keep flying over. Very loud. So, got about an hour, about an hour before we can cross. So, yeah, just gonna pack it up, sort of bits out, and uh, try and fucking find the entrance. And nine minutes later, da da, it is gone. That's the fourth or fifth bridge. The Red Bridge over there. Mm -hmm. What a view, people. We've made it overnight. Heading back to shore. It looks alright now, doesn't it? Yeah. It's easy in the fucking daytime. Finish here. We are going to finish the <coughs> investigation right here. If there's anybody here, last to give us a farewell message. Something about last night that we experienced, what we heard, what we saw. Descend. 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 Well, we've just done a lot of that. Well, we are descending, huh? <laughs> yeah. Brought. Brought. Yeah, we brought loads of stuff. Too much stuff. <laughs> Doesn't look that far, does it now? Everything looks easy <laughs> in the daylight when you can see. Yeah, at night time getting here. Oh God. That was probably, it was like we were blind. We were just walking, yeah. feeling, I slipped a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Morning. Morning. So. Come on spirits, descend. Is there any relevance to this island? What is this hut used for behind us? What is it used for? Lord. 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 Was it the Lord of the manor? I suppose in the old days, someone yeah. would have owned this. Someone who's rich. Yeah. Wouldn't they? Possibly. Now, obviously, we could do our research for this and know. Lord. But we don't want to. <laughs> no. Whatever we get, we get. And then we, we'll search for names. Exactly. Things later on. And then we'll be going home and be like, oh my god. Yeah, probably. What was in that building last night that was watching us and following us? Oh, that was such a creepy feeling last oh. night, wasn't it? And then that music box going off. <laughs> when you heard it through the thing. There's no way. That's crazy. I could have heard that. that I couldn't crazy. hear you right next to me. So. That's what we have to touch uh. to. Although. Although. Although what? Don't know. Although I don't know. Do you have a message for us, please? Before we leave, we are bringing time or an We've end to our time here. Lovely coming back here after three years. Yeah. 
what to closure? Totally different investigation this time. Yeah, a different part of the island, different results. Yeah. Not focusing so much on the, the World War II history, but, yeah. but what is actually on the island. Exactly. So. Fate. Yeah, fate took us to where we were. We, yeah. we heard people. We had a party going on. It started to rain. We were tired. We were in pain. And it took us to the house. And we, and we just, you looked over and said, oh, we can just camp here and stop here. It was yeah. in like a secluded area. Yeah. It was, I thought that was pretty cool. And it didn't disappoint. <clears throat> no, things, things do happen for a reason. I yeah. think, very much believe that. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on this epic adventure. And it was a very, very epic adventure. Lots of things happening. Quite a lot of the time, a bit on edge, a bit scared. Not really sure what was happening. So it was good. I really enjoyed it. A few spooky moments through the night. Don't yeah. get them many often, do you? No. You know, with that, uh, especially the highlight of the night, it had to be that music box. <sighs> Crazy. You know, That's you're sitting there, music box goes off. You're telling me you can hear it. You've got the headphones on, so you can't hear it. No. It's like, it's weird. He? Very strange. And not only that, once we pick that up, we can hear people walking around us. Oh, yeah. Throughout the night. Ambient noise, raining, yeah. Wet Could branches, be. yeah. Possibility. Falling, yeah. But it just got that eerie atmosphere. <sighs> yeah. So, again, make sure you like this video. Subscribe to West London Paranormal and subscribe to me if you are new. Think about joining the memberships. You know, got lots of members only videos on there. Go watch the Ghost Door podcast every week. Mark will be on it very soon, if not already. And uh, we'll see you guys in another video. See you later. Right, here we go. Descending back to shore. Like the Alice box said, this end. <laughs>